have all of that data now, and it would be kind of foolish to not leverage it. Physical retail is still responsible for 84% of everything that's bought and sold in the world is bought and sold through a store at a cash register. And somewhere between 25 and 50% of all the e-commerce in the world is actually, is actually executed through a store as well. So in order to understand actual commerce, not just the digital world, I need to understand what's happening in the store. And I need to understand that with increasingly high levels of granularity. The trick, of course, today is that as stores are not just selling platforms anymore, but they're evolving. They're evolving into customer service platforms. They're evolving into lifestyle management platforms. They're evolving into media platforms. I'm gonna to need to know so much more about what, that, what the person's doing within that ecosystem in order to be able to optimize that and in order to be able to figure out where and how I should be investing for the future. How do you run a store more efficiently and um, you need some kind of tool that can help you measure um, your ROI. The tools, definitely a technology and tools to help you um, use data to drive your operation, drive your decisions. In-store analytics tools are really helpful in terms of really understanding what's happening in stores when you're not physically in a store. So it's very beneficial for um, either store managers to use it, uh, regionals, directors, and on up. And by taking and harnessing that in-store analytic information, you can make a lot of decisions based on staffing, you can make decisions about merchandising, floor layouts, fixtures, design. I mean, in today's world, if you're a brand and you have a store, you have to compete based on experience. You can't just compete based on product and price. If you're gonna compete based on experience, that's your differentiator, you need tools to help measure and improve that constantly. To me, I've seen a lot of stores, stores that do best are the ones that invest in tools and processes to enable their teams to constantly listen and respond to their customers. And that's all in-store analytics is. It gives you tools to on scale, listen and respond to your customers. And if you're gonna do that, you're gonna do better than someone who doesn't. So being able to understand that someone spent, you know, X number of minutes in a particular zone versus in the lobby really matters. I mean, it all becomes traffic, but it becomes insightful when it becomes much more specific. So specificity matters. The second one is that when combined with other data, you know, their digital channel data with in-store analytics, then it becomes wildly more insightful because then you've got a much more 360 view of the consumer. And the last thing I'd say is what it really means for employees. Like frontline store associates can serve customers better the more they know about what matters to customers. We call that the satisfaction mirror. The more I can learn about you, the better I can serve you. That only comes from doing a good job of in-store analytics. Well, I think the tools, right, inform us about consumer behavior. And without the data and understanding consumer behavior, right, we're unable to make informed decisions as organizations or we need to have that insight into kind of the heart of the consumer. And sometimes I think they're even unaware of their own habits. What is driving kind of maybe the visit to the next store, the order they're going in, thinking about co-tenancy and everything else. So that's why I think having kind of like the tools and the solutions, right, they really just help inform us on how to build malls, how to build consumer experiences. I mean, ultimately this is all about surprising and delighting the consumer. And so how do we do that in a way that's seamless for them and also helps the organizations just make better data-driven decisions? But now you can take weeks, months of data to understand, okay, is the area that I want them to go so that they have that curated experience that I expect them to have, are they actually getting that? And that's what in-store analytics can really provide in the sense of, you know, not just that gap of, okay, I know people converted, I know people came in, but what's happening now? And that's really important for generating that, you know, ex really great customer experience that's gonna drive that loyalty, that's gonna drive those repeat visits back into the stores. So that's where all the innovations in the tech is happening, like what we are using uh, Retail Next in terms of uh, understanding footfalls at a brand zone level because that's very important when you are a multi-branded store. Basically, the brand zone, we understand how many customers are coming into the brand zone, how long they are staying inside the brand zone, how many of these customers are being met by the sales associates. Now, that's the most difficult part where AI comes in. So what sets Retail Next apart is really um, 
we own all the kind of, you know, from the, the hardware, the analytics that actually does the magic in the stores right through to the platforms. We own the complete end-to-end -end solution that means we can do a lot more. So whether we want to add on layers of which direction people travel, where do they go, all of that is technology that we've built our built ourselves. The other thing we've got is a really diverse range of clients and customers as well. So we've got a really insightful view of uh, what's happening in different sectors, what different stores, types, you know, large, small, beauty, high-end fashion, tech, all of those. So we can really bring a, a view and understanding of what's happening in, in various sectors, various store types. And I think the thing that really, really sets us apart is the focus and the vision on kind of helping physical retail um, understand what's happening in their stores. The, the retail model and the, uh, perhaps more importantly, the talent that's going into the broader retail industry is becoming so data-driven. Um, and certainly with digital brands that are now opening stores, they're coming from this e-commerce data-driven analytics kind of perspective that they're now looking to apply to the stores because that's just how they're wired. And so, as you know, if you're if you're a traditional brick and mortar retailer that started with stores that don't really have a lot of analytics, you're now competing with an incredibly analytically driven type of com competitor, essentially. Um, and especially now with you know technologies like a Retail Next or you know any other kind of in-store analytics tool, you have all of that data now, and it would be kind of foolish to not leverage it. You know, back in the day, many years ago, we would spend, you know, a year testing and, you know, measuring something, where today we can do a test and measure literally in under a month and make actionable decisions based on data that's being collected in stores. So I think it's a big win and all retailers should really be thinking about in-store analytics as a way to help drive profit, reduce expense, and really optimize that customer experience in the stores.